The three benefits of using large whiteboards in the science classroom with Weibert Science. Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Weibert. If you don't know me, you can follow me over on social media. I try to post lots of good student work since I'm in hundreds of science teachers classrooms to some extent all year long. If you don't know me, I like to travel around and help science teachers do best practices in science teaching. I've, I've been around a bit and I train hundreds of teachers here and where I live in Fresno every year. So today we're going to talk about whiteboards. What are they? How to use them? All these things. I get lots of questions on using whiteboards. So my most favorite whiteboards to use are the two foot by three foot. And you can see over here in this picture, this one is wrapped in electrical tape to help make it last longer. We know kids like to bang these on tables and they should last a few years when you protect them like this. I love using large whiteboards because it really helps making student thinking public. And for me, that's a big win. Anytime I can make student thinking public, kids are more um, ready to share, ready to learn from each other. And then I get to see what they're thinking as well before they go to paper. Whiteboards are a good place for sharing ideas. Uh, whiteboards are safe in some way for them. We can put things on an erase, we can adjust, we can add, I can go around and ask questions, I can clarify. Kids love using the markers on the whiteboards and with that, the messy work often happens here as a rough draft before I go to paper. There's something about going to paper that kids think it's final and the whiteboards allow for that opportunity uh, for good academic discourse and, and sharing. I do like small whiteboards, certain places, certain times as well. I think the small whiteboards are great for students to have to put individual ideas on there first, take the small whiteboard with them to the group setting when they're doing the large whiteboard, and then they all have a scaffold. They can all pull from something. Instead of the one kid doing all the work, they come with a piece of work to offer the group. Vertical learning is the rage right now. How can we get kids up out of their seats? up on a wall doing learning and whiteboards are great for that. Lean them up against the wall, get kids out of their seats and let's do some vertical learning. It's a great strategy if you have not tried it yet. Whiteboards are really good for gallery walks as well. Um, students can stay with a whiteboard and share. Students can leave a whiteboard on the table. They can walk around with their notebooks, gather information, take pictures of notebooks and the whiteboards together, work on them later. They're just a great strategy for that. Like I said, notebooks here, like we like to notebook. Notebook is a great tool for science teachers when used the right way. I prefer no cutting and gluing. I want kids to own the work in the notebook. And so that whiteboard is that rough draft before we go final. Whiteboards are great for jigsaw articles. Um, they give us that student work. This is an example of an article that had eight paragraphs total. I have eight pieces over here. Each group got a piece, one paragraph. They whiteboarded it out and then did gallery walks and everyone took notes in their notebook. CERs, um, it's great for catching kids with their reasoning, right? We know they struggle with writing reasonings. They don't put the right evidence down. And with a whiteboard, I can easily see as a teacher what's happening before they go to the notebook and put it in. Modeling works just as well. Um, great ideas to keep adding to models using different colors. Where do you buy these? Home Depot, you can go get them cut at your any local hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. Tile board, shower board, white board is what it's called when you go in. They're a couple dollars a board. You really should get a class set. One for each group of four is what you want. Dymac Designs is a fancy way to go buy. Um, they are beautiful. They are thick. They are curved corners. They have handles cut into them and they ship to you. So depending on your budget, there's some options to go get them. I'm really telling you, like, go get them. Whiteboards, large whiteboards will change your teaching drastically in your science classroom. You'll be so happy you did it. I have teachers who use them all over the place. A couple of things they have to say about them. They're just such great tools modeling, I mean, for everything. They're great. Go get them. You want them. You want to learn more with me? You want to learn more on whiteboarding? I go all in on whiteboarding and how to do it with lecture notes, group work, notebooks, 
how to do your units differently using whiteboards and how to use whiteboards for formative and summative assessments. And that is in the all access package that I offer over on my website. Um, I would love for you to join in. It's on demand digital learning. And I send you this beautiful workbook that you work through at your own pace with my trainings online. Follow me over, at, especially at Facebook. I, a lot of student work there, a lot of great conversations of people sharing how to teach science in the best way possible. Thanks so much.